we're going to take a closer look at the transformations of exponential functions. So just remember our basic function, we'll use two as our base, y equals two to the x. We know when I put in a zero for x, so y would equal two to the zero, anything to the zero, of course, is one. So here's my point zero one here. I could put in, um, you know, two for x if I wanted, y equals two squared, y equals four. So here's my point two four. And we can keep putting in more points, but those two points are enough for us. This bottom line here is called this asymptote. It's the line that the function tries to hit, but never quite reaches. So the transformations, all four transformations that we look at here, here's our basic function, right? Here's the y equals two to the x. It's in there, y equals two to the x. It just has all these transformations applied to it. So the first one is the a out front. That's our vertical stretch or compression by a factor of a. So that's where we multiply the y values by a. Our k, which is here, is our horizontal stretch or compression. And we multiply the x values by one over k. So this one, we're multiplying the y values. And this one, we're multiplying the x values. This D is this horizontal shift. It's the same rule. If it's negative, you would think it would go left, but it actually goes right. So if it's negative, it moves right. And if it's positive, it moves left. And the last one, C, our vertical shift. This one makes a little more sense for us. If it's positive, it goes up. And if it's negative, it goes down. So this is an interesting illustration here. We just see here's our A up top that's affecting the X. And this here's our value here. Of course, when this is negative, it becomes a take away a negative, which is positive. So when this actually, the number value is negative, the actual subtraction becomes positive. So it goes left. So it goes left, and then here it goes right. Basically, the point is that this is the horizontal factor, this a. So as you move this slider left and right, the function moves left and right on the grid. And this one here, the b, this is on the outside. This is the b. So as the b moves, well, essentially positive and negative, or moves left and right, the function itself, because of the b value, goes up and down, as we can see. So those are the two kinds of transformations. Well, two of the kinds we could see. Right. So here's our basic function, y equals 2 to the x. This one is y equals 2 to the x plus 3. This one's just, just moved up. So my, my point zero, 1, I've now gone up three units, one, two, three, to that point. 0, 4, and then, and that's how we'll transform them. And again, the actual shape of the sketch itself, that's pretty hard to get perfectly. So just, just kind of wing the, the shape, that's fine. This is 2x minus 3. So here's my, my point, again, that's my point, 0, 1. It goes down 3, 1, 2, 3, down to there. That coordinate would be 0, negative 2. This one's a horizontal shift. So here's my, again, I guess my original point, 0, 1. This is plus three, so it goes left three, one, two, three. Okay, we see it sitting there, we could label it zero and negative three. I have this negative three, so it goes right three, one, two, three, over to there. And this is just a couple um, transformations put in together. Here's my point, zero, one. It has to go up one, and then because it's positive two, it has to go left two. So it has to go up one and left two. So this point has to go up one, which is there, left two, one, two, which is there. So that's the point. So then I can label that point, the actual coordinate, negative two, two. And then again, once you have the point there, you just, you just sort of wing the shape itself. Here's this stretch idea. So here's my basic function, uh, two x, so just like if I put in zero, I would have two to the zero, which is one. So here's this point again, zero, one. So if I put in zero to this one, I would have two to the zero, which is one, but then one times three, because I have a three up front. So one, well, actually written like this, I guess, it'd be like, it would look like that, three times one, which is three. So that's where I, that point gets essentially stretched up to, up to there.
And this is obviously, because it's a three, it's growing more rapidly, it's, it's steeper. But again, it's really subtle the difference in terms of, of the steepness. So just, just sketch it as best you can. Uh, this one here, this is one third. So we have to take a look at the value itself. Sorry. So the value here um, with a third, here's my, my zero one. But now I multiplied all by one third. So you see how it's down there at zero, one third. And again, a couple things in together here. I, again, I just want to show this is the word I'm saying, asymptote. And that this is this, I guess, invisible line basically that the function is, is trying to hit. That's it. Take a look at page 196.